we have these two questions in this first we'll solve sine 15 into secant 75 so again 15 and 75 is 90 so we should either change 15 and or 75 isn't it we should not change both so let us change 15 so 15 can be written as 90 minus 75 75 goes on the other side becomes minus 75 so this sign 15 in place of 15 we should write 90 minus 75 and secant 75 okay so we have learned one formula that sine 90 minus theta is equal to cos theta right so sin 90 minus 75 will become cos 75 right so sin 90 minus 75 will become cos 75 into secant 75 but what should we do now we have cos 75 multiplied by secant 75 now if you remember in relationship between trigonometric ratios we have studied that cos is equal to 1 by secant right and secant is equal to 1 by cos so we can either write cos as 1 by secant or we can write secant as 1 by cos okay so cos 75 multiplied by we are writing secant as 1 by cos so it is 1 by cos 75 so secant 75 is 1 by cos 75 so cos 75 into 1 cos 75 divided by cos 75 same values will get cancelled it will be equal to 1 okay so pause the video and try to solve this problem i hope you solved the problem 26 plus 64 is equal to how much 90 degrees right so let us change 26 so we are writing it as 90 minus 64 okay so what is the question tan 26 multiplied by tan 64 right so tan 26 we are changing right so 90 minus 64 multiplied by tan 64 but what is tan 90 minus theta it is equal to cot theta right so tan 90 minus 64 will be equal to cot 64 so tan 90 minus 64 cot 64 multiplied by tan 64 now what cot and tan so these two are reciprocal functions right so we can write tan as 1 by cot or we can write cot as 1 by tan so let us write cot as 1 by tan so cot 64 is 1 by tan 64 multiplied by tan 64 so 1 into tan 64 tan 64 divided by tan 64 it will be equal to 1 